we are in a process of going through how we can foster the application of uh, free open source and open software. So one of our next speakers is Mr. Kiwi Tang. Uh, like Dr. Panat said, we just not software, we also have a hardware side, and he's uh, promoting how hardware, open source, and technologies can be accessed throughout the world. Please welcome Mr. Kiwi Tang. Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, good morning. I'm uh, Kiwi, CEO of uh, Lionforge, that's the uh, company. So the, uh, what I'm going to show today, I'm um, sorry, uh, is some of the uh, projects that we're doing is hardware projects. So, um, so the company started off with a statement. Uh, how are we going to use open source technology, uh, even from the whole process, using open source software um, like uh, uh, OpenCAD to develop hardware products that push to the international market. So nobody has really yet uh, moved to this uh, journey by producing products, hardware products especially, uh, that go through safety certification and become a professional product in the market. Uh, so in a way, uh, we embark on an experiment uh, to, uh, to produce such a product. So Craft Laser, uh, which is actually a professional laser cutter, uh, that's developed 100% uh, open source. And uh, we've, comp we've done this project, uh, I think we started this project about only last year, so it took us one and a half year to raise funding, um, get the product done, uh, produced, certified, and right now we already sold, I think, all over the world, uh, from US all the way to Korea uh, and Europe. Uh, on this machine. So uh, without going too much into details, I'm going to quickly share uh, what exactly is this laser cutter. OK, so the craft laser uh, is actually the world's safest uh, cutting uh, laser. It's also the uh, only portable laser cutter in the world. Uh, it's also the most compact and lightweight system. You can see that uh, uh, we actually brought the machine down here at level 10. Uh, we just fly all the way in uh, from Singapore. Uh, I just carry it along, so it's like a check-in luggage. Uh, you can see it's very compact, it's all-in-one system, uh, and it's 100% uh, open source. So this project, uh, as you can see, uh, we are trying to create values in the product that is based on open source. And it's not just something uh, uh, like a mega project that doesn't go anywhere. Um, so we decided that the, uh, we took on this seriously and push as hard as we can um, to get the product uh, into the market in less than uh, a year. So some of the features uh, that I'm going to show here, I mean, there are terminologies that you may not know, but what I'm trying to show down here is that uh, when you push a hardware into the market, there are a lot of um, safety requirements. There are safety uh, standards that you need to follow, uh, tested. Uh, before you can actually push a product into the market. Some of the examples are, like for example, for a laser cutter, you need to be, uh, there's four classes. So for us, it's a class one laser, which means that uh, despite the fact that it's a cutting laser, it is as safe as your CD player. That's class one certification. And also, we are also NFPA. NFPA is a National Fire Protection uh, Association uh, Standard 86 uh, compliance meaning that we are also the only laser cutter uh, that complies with um, fire protection uh, standards. Uh, so uh, NFPA 86 requires uh, any uh, incendiary system uh, for your combustion uh, oven standards. So in this laser cutter, we actually have uh, that kind of uh, safety features. Uh, then again, yes, uh, also is only less than 50 pounds, which means it's only about 23 kg. Uh, that is actually part of the uh, OSHA requirement. For anything that's need to be portable, uh, it needs to weigh less than 50 pounds. If not, otherwise, it's not portable. So other good uh, uh, features it has is like it has its uh, own built-in filter, air filter, uh, cooling system, and some air assist for good laser cutting. And it's extremely easy to use. So with all those features, uh, this allows us to actually push a product into the market. So you can see from the uh, photographs, we already delivered uh, to Korea, uh, to a lot of schools in Singapore. 
And uh, so down there, you can see that we're actually having a workshop inside the library. So that's how safe the laser cutter is. And the, uh, so what we'll see later uh, after the, uh, uh, in the afternoon, uh, please come up to level 10, and then the machine is there. We can do some uh, demonstration uh, hands-on. If not, that's all I have. Thank you.